Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Hump day? <laughs> I um, just finished the gym. Oh my god, I have something in my eye. Seriously, every time I talk to you guys, I'm in the car. This should just be... I should, like, rename this vlog Smoochie because that's my nickname. So, it should be to be Smoochie's Car Talks or Smoochie's Car Rambles or something like that because I'm always talking to you guys in the car. Always. But anyways, so what... So I was just at the gym. You know, I felt like I've been holding a little bit extra of um, water weight. I think it's due to stress. And I talked to you guys about this in another video where like if you know you're feeling you need to rest or you know you're feeling like you got to listen to your body like you should. And I haven't been, which I think is my issue right now, why my stress is catching up with me. And I feel like I am holding more water. So I did a little extra cardio today to try and sweat it out. And then when I tanned, I asked them to do a little longer of a time so I could sweat even more. Um, to try and get rid of some of this extra water weight. I have to check in tomorrow, so I'm hoping I'm either where I was at or under from last week. Um, so fingers crossed for me for that because we are getting down to the wire. Friday, it'll be two weeks out. I cannot wait. I'm going to show you guys my check-in tomorrow. So, um, because I haven't showed you guys a check-in in like two weeks or so. But after the gym today, I went and I had to pick up my Walden Farm syrup because I was out of it and I could have cried the other day. Like yesterday, my routine was all off because I'm a creature of habit when it comes to prep and I have to have every meal be the same, like my favorite meal. So my first and my fourth meal, they have to be the same. And I didn't have any syrup, so not good. So I got some syrup, and then yesterday, Evie asked me for pancakes, so I got this brand. I love this brand. I've used it before for, like, baking, but it's Krusty's, and it's really not that bad for, um, I mean, at least for her, her and Kyle. Um, there is another brand, once I'm done prepping, that you can make pancakes and waffles from that is, like, low-carb and all that stuff that I'll show you, but at another time. Anyways, though, so this brand is Krusty's. I got this because in a half cup, which, I mean, you could make a decent amount of pancakes, especially for a two-year-old, there's only 180 calories and a gram and a half of fat and 37 carbs. Sorry, I'm reading, driving, and talking all at the same time. 37 carbs and only six grams of sugar. So, I mean, not terrible when it comes to a pancake mix. So I'm going to make her some pancakes. So that's what we're going to do right now. Pancakes. Pancakes. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my mad pancake flipping skills. Like with anything, it has a lot to do with your tools. This bad boy, it's like the size of a pancake. So you never screw it up. I gotta wait for those perfect bubbles. Let the pancake speak to you. Let the pancake speak to you. He's telling me he's ready. Let's do this. All right. Maybe not. Hold on. Alright. Slide it under. And that's like satisfaction at its finest. I'm gonna get these all set for her, go grab her, and then probably make some chocolate chip ones for Kyle. Treat him a little bit. 
I'm in a good mood today. Might as well. I wait for those perfect bubbles. Let the pancakes speak to you. Let the pancakes speak to you. He's telling me he's ready. Let's do this. Maybe not. Come on. Alright. Slide it under. And that's like satisfaction at its finest. I'm gonna get these all set for her, go grab her, and then probably make some chocolate chip ones for Kyle. Treat him a little bit. I'm in a good mood today. Might as well. breakfast I decided I'm going to tackle some of this packing so we have started on the kitchen yes we have started on the kitchen it feels so good as I'm like going through stuff I'm like yeah do I really need to bring this with me no toss it so uh, it feels like it's such like a cleansing clean like a uh, fresh start feeling and I just love it. Now we are actually, so my kitchen table and chairs sold, so yay. We are selling some other stuff, so if any of you guys are looking for, we have a armoire and a night, ask her. We have an armoire and a matching nightstand that we are not going to bring with us. We also have our daughter's furniture. It's um, a white, like probably like yay high. It's a ooh, yay high, yay, yay high. <laughs> it's um a white kids furniture. It has a matching um changing table that has two drawers with it and then like three different compartments and the armoire opens up and has shelves and everything else. So if you know anybody or if you guys or anybody you know is looking for something like that, um, I actually have, you can message me. Um, either you can like direct message me or you can email me at Ariel Aileen, uh, Fit at gmail.com. You can email me there and I can send you over pictures of it. Um, Cause I really don't want to bring it with me and it's just we have a full set of furniture for her so we're getting rid of that and i have a small coffee table too that i'm getting rid of so if you guys know anybody that needs anything if they're moving you know if they're just starting out let me know because our stuff like i it's in great condition i just don't want to bring it with me and it just is going to alleviate a lot of extra headache for me to figure out where I'm putting it. So with that being said, I am going to continue packing and going through all of this stuff. It's going to be so much fun. I am going to continue doing this and yeah, we're going to see what other good stuff we can find. Okay guys, so, mm, cheese on my lip. We are taking a break from packing. It is lunchtime. I am eating my meal here. We got six egg whites and two and a half ounces of asparagus, half ounce of spinach, reduced sugar ketchup, and an ounce of cheese. 
I was getting really bored of meat and veggie and like cheese or avocado. I was getting really bored of it. So I switched it up with this. And it was such a good idea because I needed some variety in my life. I forgot to tell you guys. So um, yesterday was it? Yesterday or two days ago? I went and got my lashes filled. So they look beautiful. But I'm also working with the girl that fills my lashes. I'm also working with her. She is doing some of my online coaching. And um, that day was our check-in day. So when I went over there and I asked her, you know, like how things were going and how um, her meals were and how her week went. And then I asked her what her weight was. In like slightly over a week, she has dropped 10 pounds. 10 pounds. I was so incredibly proud of her. I don't even, she was like, she had said, she's like, you know, I think the day I sent you my weight, I might have been a little bit over what I usually am, but she's like, I was so shocked when I got on the scale. I was like, um, girlfriend, that's almost like a pound a day. I mean, yes, some of that is water weight. Yes, some of it is actual, you know, when your body when you do a complete 180 on it and it's like whoa hey what are you doing and you start feeding it with the right fuel and you start giving it the right things that it needs you can drop quickly because you have that extra weight to drop but she's not my only one the other one i wanted to give another shout out to is um one of my one of my clients she is her and her husband are in our or are in our forces they're in the military and they were stationed overseas and she's on her they're actually back in the states now but she had checked in with me and told me she was down eight pounds eight pounds down within the midst of moving and chaos and craziness so it is possible guys it is very possible to stay on track in the midst of life happening happening um, my other client, she also has been dropping weight. You know, she's one where I try to remind her, you are still going in the right direction. Whether it is a half a pound, whether it's an eighth of a pound, whether it's a full pound, however much it is, you, as long as you're dropping, like, and for somebody who doesn't have the extra weight to drop, your weight loss is going to be slower than somebody who has extra weight to drop, which is totally fine as long as you are going in the right direction and you are staying on track and you're continuing your workouts and eating healthy, that weight is going to come off. It's not just going to be like, oh, you know what, you're eating healthy and you're working out, I'm gonna like gain weight. That's not how it works. As long as you are staying on track and staying consistent, consistency is key, guys. It is key when it comes to reaching your goal. As long as you don't give up, the only way you can go is in the right direction. So I want anybody who is going through, you know, anything. It doesn't have to be just weight loss. Like if you have a goal set for yourself and you like haven't met it yet, as long as you're consistent and you continue to go forward with it, you're going to get there. I promise you, you're going to get there. As long, like, don't compare yourself to anybody else. Your only competition should be you. And if you are consistent and you are, follow what, you know, what you're doing and you make little tweaks along the way, you are going to get to that goal. Like I said, whether it's weight loss or something else, you're going to get there. I am just so proud of my of my clients that I just wanted to share that, that I mean, they are making a change for themselves and they're making a change for the better and it's showing and even their husbands are noticing, which makes me feel so good because it makes them feel good when, you know, the person that sees them the most actually notices because the people that see us the most tend to be the ones that don't notice right away because they're so used to the way we look but they're noticing and they that makes them feel good so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I wanted you guys to know that I am taking um, I am taking clients I am training more people I would love to help anybody out um, you can find my my email will be in the description but it's arielleleanfit at gmail.com um, I like I said, I would love to share more success stories. So the more sick, the more people I get, the more success stories I can share, and the you know the 
more happiness I can spread. So, because everybody feels good when they start to drop weight and they like feel better about themselves. So keep that in mind. So after we decided to go and pick out some Father's Day gifts for my dad and Kyle, this is what we're doing. It's beautiful outside, so we're just relaxing. I'm gonna do some studying for my certification while she sits here and plays. <coughs> Excuse me. Because <laughs> it's absolutely perfect outside, so. And I'm feeling somewhat motivated on getting this studying done today. When my brain is in the right state of me knowing like, okay, yeah, I can focus on this and actually retain it. That's when I take advantage of it. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to get to studying because the sooner I take this test, the better. All right, guys, you can see that we made some progress today. We've got another box downstairs that's ready to go. Two boxes in my car. So we are knocking it out pretty quickly, actually. That's the nice thing about our townhouse being as small as it was and us not jam packing it with crap and me kind of as the season switched this year I got rid of stuff that like we didn't need which again is like so nice it's like a cleansing feeling but progress progress and now Miss Evie is just finishing her dinner I ate my third meal so I have about three hours and 15 minutes before I can have my fourth meal um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today. And then later on this week, let me think, what's going on this week? <gasps> photo shoot. We have a photo shoot this week, so that's going to be fun. And that'll be with Amanda. And then I'm also going to, um, I've got some other cool things coming up this weekend too. So it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Keep coming in. Thanks for checking in with me again. Toodles. I'll see you guys next time.